Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial and today's review is the menu. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's get started. Now I'm very late to the party with this movie, but I figure if I watched it, might as well uh, create some content on it, do the review and put it out there. This movie came out in about November 2022. I've been seeing the trailers and it just never really interesting me and then uh talking to a few people and they just said it was decent so i finally gave it a shot so it stars uh ralph flennis as the chef the main chef that you see here in the white and you see anya teller joy plays as margo to the left there you see uh nicholas holt plays as tyler over to the right then you have some um, supporting cast. Hong Chow as Elsa. Janet McTeer um, as Lillian. Um, Paul Adelstein as Ted. John Leguizamo plays as the movie star. Doesn't really, I don't even remember his name in there. But uh, that's pretty much it. But it's, you know, it's other people, but the most notable names. So. What happens? It comes on. Tyler wants to get on this yacht. And his girl's Margo telling her to get on so they can get on this yacht. And you they're getting on a yacht with a bunch of rich people. You find they find out that they're going to this island where only rich people can afford to dine there at 1400 a per person to dine there and that's where everything begins and the course of the meals is all designed and is set uh, for the chef tells every breakdown about each meal and feeds it to the people and gets their feedback but you instantly find out that the chef these people that have been selected have been selected here for a particular reason. And this is not only to uh, serve them food, but to kill them as well for their uh, misdeeds that they have done in the past. So each character has something that they did, whether they were um, writing bad reviews on restaurants, whether they were money learning their money. Um, I said money laundering, money money laundering, or you even had one um, one of the rich guys named Richard. He was um, committing adultery on his wife. So you find out that Margot, she's a call girl. She really wasn't Tyler's girlfriend, and so Margot was the x factor because the, the chef had all this plan per person but when they seen margo she wasn't supposed to be on there so that disrupted his menu and what everything he had planned so his right hand person was elsa and she pretty much looked at margo will weird too like what are you doing here so after everything start happening the chef first displayed that he was on some different type time because one of his chefs had it out for him to take over so he killed him right there and they thought well maybe it was a prop it wasn't real but he really killed him and so once they start figuring out that it was real he sent them all tortillas where he was going to make them like homemade tacos or something so he gave them tortillas in order tortillas was like their bad deeds so they know it was real now they wanted to leave and he gave all the men a chance to give them a head start to run and get away. They tried to run, but they all ended up getting captured. So he did pull, he meaning Chef Slovit, Slovit, pulled Margo to the side, basically asked her, what are you doing here? You know, because you're disrupting everything. I didn't account for you to be here. So she told him some things and then once she figured out it was real he barred her back and asked her some more questions and she started to tell exactly who she was that she was a call girl she was in the service business and they asked her well do you like he asked her did you like 
doing what you do. And she said, I used to, but not no more. And so you find out that Tyler knew all about what was going to happen. And he knew that Margot would get killed in this process, but he didn't care. He was a social media food critic where he knew the ins and outs of food, how it's supposed to be done. And but he he never actually did chef work himself. So they displayed that and the chef whispered in his ear. So it was a moment where the chef did uh ask Margot to go get um a barrel and when she went to go get it she seen Tyler, he was hung somewhere dead. And the process of that as well, Elsa thought she was going to be replaced. So she tried to kill Margo. Margo ended up killing her and then brought back the barrel. What didn't make sense is that he, the chef was part of a cult. So he had all his chefs that believed in his mission. And they were all set to kill themselves after everybody else is dying as well. So... Margo, when she went to the after she killed Elsa and she was in the other area, she seen all the pictures and um, articles about the chef and seen like his younger pictures and that he won awards for making the best cheeseburgers. So, what she did when he was ready to kill everybody, she yelled out pretty much, I want my food back, I didn't eat nothing. I want to, um, I didn't like what was on your menu. And he pretty much was like, well, what didn't you like? And then uh, she told him and he said, well, what would you like? He pretty much told her um, a cheeseburger. Can you make that? And then she was like, "He, how you want it made? You know, American cheese and everything. So he, she knew that would trigger him. Now he want to make the best cheeseburger ever. So he whipped it up, took his time. She said she wanted fries with it. He made her a double cheeseburger, brought it out. She took it, um, a bite of it, and then she replied, my eyes is bigger than my stomach. I need this to go. That was her way of asking him, can I leave? So leave the island. Now, early in that movie, a guy came on a boat uh, acting like he was the police and all the guests started uh, saying, hey, you need to kill the chef. And the gun he had was a lighter. He was in on it and, or whatever. So the chef looked at her, looked at Margo. He knew she wasn't really supposed to be part of this, so he let her go. She ran off, got the boat started, drove off a little bit, started eating her cheeseburger. So now what the chef did to end all this he came and put a marshmallow suit on all the the remaining guests, put a, um, a chocolate, a hat made of chocolate, put on all their heads, and went around with uh, a design of dessert around the whole um, sit seating area. And he lit fire, burnt himself up along with his chefs and all the guests as well. They all burned up. Basically saying they were s'mores. So that part didn't make sense. So the ravings that this movie got, I, you know, I don't know. I thought it could have been better. I thought if they, the, it would have been a better suited if the whole movie was, after you, you went on with the plot or what the storyline was, that everybody was going to have a chance to, you know, run away and then, you know, survival for their life, and then they went out to try to kill them that way or something like that. So just burning them all up with the s'mores thing at the end just kind of was like a pointless movie. So overall, that's the review. Out of my four-star rating system, I'm going to get this a 1.5 out of four stars. I didn't... It wasn't really... It's a, it's a pointless movie to me. I think it could have been way better, but it wasn't. Um, I don't see what the hype was about it. But, hey, I, I watched it, reviewed it, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.